ஹாய் ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் யூடியூப் சேனல் திஸ் இஸ் பாலகிருஷ்ணா கே நவ் டுடே ஐ எம் எக்ஸ்பிளைனிங் கிளாஸ் டென் சாப்டர் செவன் கோஆர்டினேட் ஜாமெட்ரி எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஒன் ஸோ ஹியர் வாட் இஸ் த டிஸ்டன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் ஏ ஃபோர் காமா ஜீரோ பி எயிட் காமா ஜீரோ ஸோ ஹியர் வி நோ தட் த டிஸ்டன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் டூ பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இந்த டூ பாயிண்ட் த ஒய் கோஆர்டினேட் இஸ் சேம் ஸோ த டிஸ்டன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் த டூ பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இஸ் மாடலேஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ் டூ மைனஸ் எக்ஸ் ஒன் ஸோ ஹியர் the distance between a x1 y1 and b x2 y1 is the y coordinate is same in the formula is modulus of x2 minus x1 so given the points given a 4 0 and b 8 comma 0 so here it is x1 y1 it is x2 y2 so what the formula modulus x2 minus x1 that is here modulus 8 minus 4 so 8 minus 4 how much modulus 4 that is equal how much 4 units so the distance between a 4 comma 0 and b 8 comma 0 is 4 units so modulus of x2 minus x1 in the y coordinate is same the distance between two points is modulus of x2 minus x1 x2 is 8 x1 is 4 next what is the distance between a 8 comma 3 and b minus 4 comma 3 same what is the formula modulus of x2 minus x1 y in this two point the y coordinate is same so here the distance between a 8 comma 3 and b minus 4 comma 3 is modulus of x2 minus x1 so in these two points x1 is 8 y1 is 3 x2 is minus 4 y2 is 3 so the y coordinate is same here that is here x2 minus 4 x1 minus 8 minus 4 minus 8 minus 12 modulus of minus 12 it is 12 so 12 units the distance between a 8 comma 3 and b minus 4 comma 3 is mo- modulus minus 12 that is equal to how much 12 units next exam 3 <coughs> find the distance between origin and a point is what the formula square root of x square plus y square so how we can get already we discussed in previous videos okay now here the distance between between origin and a point 7 comma 4 is square root of x square plus y square so x is equal to 7 y is equal to 4 so that is square root of 7 square plus 4 square so 7 square 49 4 square 16 so square root of 49 plus 16 how much 65 so square root of 65 units so the distance between origin and the point is the formula is square root of x square plus y square so in the point x coordinate and y coordinate x coordinate is 7 y coordinate is 4 so that how much you can get the distance square root of 65 units next example 4 find the distance between two points a 4 comma 3 and b 8 comma 6 so here the distance between two points a 4 comma 3 and b 8 comma 6 is so what are the formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square in these two points you can write the x coordinate and y coordinate so first x1 is equal to 4 y1 is equal to 3 
x2 is equal to 8, y2 is equal to 6. That is square root of x2, 8, x1, 4. So 8 minus 4 whole square plus 6 minus 3 whole square. So square root of 8 minus 4 that is 4 square, 6 minus 3, 3 square. So square root of 4 square, 16, 3 square, 9. So square root of 16 plus 9, 25. So that is square root of 25 you can add as 5 square. Square square root cancel that is how much? 5 units. So the distance between a 4 comma 3 and b 8 comma 6 is how much? 5 units. Next example 5. So show that the points a 4 comma 2, b 7 comma 5 and c is equal to 9 comma 7 are 3 points lie on same line. So the points which are lie on the same line, that points are called collinear points. So here they are asking that prove that the points are lie on same line. That means the points you can show that collinear points. Okay. So here given the points. A 4 comma 2, B 7 comma 5, C 9 comma 7. So here how you can show that the lines are lie on the, the points are lie on the same line here by using the distance formula. Okay, find the distance A B distance, B C distance, next C A distance. The sum of any two distance is equal to the third side distance then the points are lie on same line. So here AB distance, the distance between A 4 comma 2 and B 7 comma 5 is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So here x1 is equal to 4, y1 is 2. Next x2 is equal to 7, y2 is equal to 5. So here square root of x2 that is 7 minus 4 whole square plus 5 minus 2 whole square. So square root of 7 minus 4, 3 square plus 5 minus 2, 3 square. So square root of 3 square 9 plus 9. So square root of 18. 9 plus 9. How much? 18. So 18 how we can write? 9 to each other. So square root of a into b. Square root a into square root b. So that is your square root of 9 into square root 2. So square root 9 we can add as 3 square into root 2. So square square root cancel. That is 3 root 2. So the distance between a and b is a b distance is how much 3 root 2 how much you can get 3 root 2 next same the distance between b c next we can find that b c so b is 7 comma 5 c is 9 comma 7 so 7 5, 9, 7. So, here what the formula is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So, that is a square root of how much? 9 minus 7 whole square plus 7 minus 5 whole square. So, x2 is 9, x1 is 7, y2 is 7, y1 is 5. So, that is a square root of 9 minus 7, how much? 2 square plus 2 square. So here square root of 2 square 4 plus 2 square 4. So square root of 4 plus 4 how much? 8. So the 4, 8 we can write as 4, 2. So, so here square root a into b square root a into square root b. So that is here square root 4 into square root 3. So square root of 4 we can write as 2 square into root 2. So square square root cancel 2 root 2. So the distance between B C is how much? 2 root 2. Next way you can find that C A. C A. So 
so c 9 comma 7 and a is 4 comma 2 so is what the formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so here x1 is 9 y1 is 7 x2 is 4 y2 is 2 so the formula is square root of 4 minus 9 whole square plus 2 minus 7 whole square so 4 minus 9 that is how much minus 5 whole square plus minus 5 whole square so minus 5 whole square minus 5 is multiplied how many times 2 times so minus 5 whole square how much minus 5 into minus 5 minus minus plus 5 5 yeah, 25 plus 25 so square root of 25 plus 25 50 so square root 50 we can add as 25 2 yeah. so square root of a into b square root a into square root b so square root of 25 into square root 2 so 25 can add as 5 square into 2 square square root cancel that is 5 root 2 so here ca distance is how much 5 root 2 so here collision point how we can show that the distance between any two sides is equal to the torque side okay then the points are form a collinear points so here a b plus b c check a b plus b c so a b is how much 3 root 2 b c is how much 2 root 2 so 3 root 2 means 3 into root 2 2 root 2 means 2 into root 2 so that is here 3 plus 2 into root 2 here you can use the distributive property so here 3 plus 2 how much 5 root 2 so 5 root is nothing but which side c a so a b plus b c is equal to c a so the sum of any two sides is equal to third side so therefore a comma b comma c are the points lie on same line therefore hence proved next example 6 are the points 3 comma 2 minus 2 comma minus 3 and 2 comma 3 form a triangle so here we know that the points are form a triangle so by using the points we can find the distance between the two points so the distance between the two points is called line segment so that line segments are called sides so there are form the triangle or not means how we can find the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side or the difference between any two sides is less than the third side then the sides are form a triangle okay therefore the points are form a triangle so here we can find the distance between the points how many points are given three points so here let us take a 3 comma 2 b minus 2 comma minus 3 and c 2 comma 3 are points so a b distance distance a b so how we can find by using the distance formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so here x1 is 3 y1 is 2 x2 is minus 3 minus 2 y2 is minus 3 okay so here distance minus 2 minus 3 whole square plus y2 minus 3 y1 2 minus 3 minus 2 whole square so here minus 2 minus 3 how much minus 5 whole square minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 whole square so minus 5 whole square how much 25 plus 25 so is equal 25 plus 25 how much 50 so 50 we can write as 25 2 gem. so square root of a into b square root a into square root b so square root 25 into square root 2 so here square root 25 you can add as 5 square into root 2 so square square root cancel that is equal 
here <coughs> AB is equal to how much? 5 root 2. The distance between AB is how much? 5 root 2. So, 5 root 2, 5 into root 2 value is 1.414 and so on. So, here 5 into 1.414, how much you can get? 7.070. When you multiply the AB value is how much? 7.070 and so on. So, next distance BC. distance b c. So, here b point is what minus 2 minus 3, c point is 2 comma 3. So, minus 2 minus 3 x 1 minus 2 y 1 minus 3 x 2 2 3. So, that is a square root of 2 minus x 2 minus x 1 minus x 1 is minus 2 minus 2. So, next 3 minus minus 3. So, that is a 2 minus minus plus 2 plus 2 whole square plus 3 plus 3 whole square. So, 2 plus 2 4 square plus 3 plus 3 6 square. So, that is here 4 square 16 6 square 36 square root of 16 plus 36 how much 52. So, square root of 52 how it can find by using the square root of any number you can find there is two methods are there what are there prime factorization method and long division method or dot division method so here 52 we can find the value by using dot division method so we cannot find by using our uh, prime factorization method okay 52 okay for the 52 nearest to 52 which is the perfect square number 49 so how we can get the 49 7 7 ja. so here 7 7 ja, 49 so the remainder is 3, we can draw 1 dot, you can put the dot for every 2 digits from right side. So 7 double, how much? 14. So 14 beside, we can put 1, multiply with same number, 141, 1 job, 141. Next, we can take 142, 2 job. So that is here, 2, 2. So that is here, how much? 2, 2 job, 4, 2, 4 job, 8, 2. So here, 6, 1, we can draw another dot. So, 7.2 double, that is here 144, take 1 time, so that is here 1441, so 9, 5, 1, again 0, 0. So, how much you can get? Its value, approximately 7.21 and so on. So, the length of BC is equal to 7.21 and so on. Next, the length of CD is equal to 7.21. The length of CA. So, C point is 2 comma 3, A point is 3 comma 2. So, C A here 2, X1 is 2, Y1 is 3, X2 is 3, Y2 is 2. So, here that is square root of 3 minus 2 whole square plus 2 minus 3 whole square. So, 3 minus 2 that is 1 square. 2 minus 3 minus 1 whole square. So, square root of 1 plus minus 1 whole square, how much? 1. So, square root of 1 plus 1, 2. Its value is 1.414 and so on. So, here CA distance is how much? 1.414. So, here what the question form a triangle or not? So, how the triangle are formed with three sides? The sum of any two sides is greater than the third side. So, here here we take that BC plus CA. Let us take BC plus CA. So BC length is how much? 7.21. CA length how much? 1.414. How much you can get? 8, 6, 2, 4. It is greater than the 7.070. Yes. So BC plus CA is greater than the AB. So therefore A comma B comma C or points form a triangle form a triangle